Hi class, my name is Isaac Cortinas, and my food presentation is going to be on arroz con leche, or in English, it's called rice pudding. And before I begin, it's my grandma's usually the one that makes the arroz con leche, but right now she's going through the post COVID long term effects and she just doesn't have any energy to cook, to cook anything really. So she was originally supposed to come out in the video, but my grandpa is going to replace her, I guess I would say. And he's gonna prepare it, but he doesn't want to come out in the video, so I'll have to make some video improvisations and hope everything goes well. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. So the ingredients to make arroz con leche are quite simple. There's only five. We used whole milk, two sticks of cinnamon, a can of evaporated milk, long green white rice, and water. The measurements will be provided throughout the video. <laughs> So we turn on the stove on high heat and in a medium pot, you're going to want to add three cups of water with one cup of rice and the two sticks of cinnamon. Uh, this typically serves around three to four people. And then you're going to want to stir the rice and the cinnamon and the water all really, really well. And then basically you want to wait for it to boil here. It's starting to make those little bubbles. And now we're at the rolling boil that we want, evaporating most of the water and cooking the rice until um, it's nice and soft. And now we're going to add our two milks, the first one being one cup of whole milk. And then the second one is the entire can of the evaporated milk. And then you're going to stir the milks really, really well. And you basically just um, keep stirring until you notice that the texture starts to become more creamy and thick. And I know some people uh, like it more watery, so you would just leave it for less time. So we turn off the heat and we let it sit there to cool for around 20 to 40 minutes as the rice absorbs the milk. Okay, so the arroz con leche is done. Yay. So I'm going to share why arroz con leche is meaningful to me. In one aspect, it's like the seasonal conviviality attached to it. Um, as I said in the introduction, my grandma is the one that always makes the arroz con leche, and it's always in the fall and winter months when the weather starts to get cooler and cloudier. Um, so, and then the holidays are approaching too. So family from like afar and close, they finally come together here at my grandparents' house. and. We're just here while eating arroz con leche with like other meals too. Um, as in general, my family rarely ever comes together. So it's nice to like see everybody here. And another aspect, it's like the nostalgia attached to it. Um, when I was younger, I would stay here at my grandparents' house literally every weekend. And well, when it was holidays, we would have uh, school off and so more time here at my grandparents. So um, at the most random times at the night, my grandma would like literally knock at like midnight or like one or two in the morning and ask if, if I want, if I'm awake and want arroz con leche. And obviously I never said no. So she would make arroz con leche and we'd have like meaningful conversations of like where, where, like where, how, how she was growing up in Mexico and coming to the US and, <laughs> her past boyfriends before my meeting my grandpa and stories like that so uh, my grandma's already like honestly a second mom to me so like in a way arroz con leche i carry her stories i guess i would say so yeah that's why it's meaningful to me but i hope you guys uh enjoyed the video and the recipe and uh stay safe